What's up guys? Well, it's time to leave New Mexico and head to Arizona, which I'm going to spend a good portion of my winter there. Uh, one good thing about Arizona is they don't do daylight savings time, so at least the sun sets at 6 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock like it does everywhere else, so it's not quite so depressing. <music> guys we are here in Tucson Arizona uh, yeah we're at this RV park I'm only gonna stay here for three days um, one reason why I don't like staying at RV parks is you're just all crammed in and it's just like gravel all around you know there are a couple trees here and there throughout the place but Gravel, actually the first uh, site they gave me was asphalt, but you know, you got power hookups, water hookups here, uh, the bathrooms and showers are right there, yeah, plugged in, got all the water you can use, and I can uh, dump my cassette and everything else to be on my way to Quartzsite, on uh, Tuesday I guess to Quartzsite. But uh, yeah, like I said, I was at this RV park uh, when I knew nothing four years ago. Actually, on the November 17th is my four-year anniversary uh, that I've been full-time in the van. And uh, yeah, this was the second RV park that I came to, and I stayed here for think, like a month and a half or something. I knew nothing about boondocking then. Uh, didn't know anything and I actually met uh, the Russos here from We're the Russos and uh, so they helped me out a lot uh, you know helped me out with uh, I really didn't know much about the RV at that point either so I had a couple questions for them about how to work things on the RV and uh, yeah they told me the apps and go to Quartzsite and uh, yeah that's when I started boondocking and never looked back kind of thing so yeah, just here for a few days. Like I said, don't like to stay here for long, but it's a nice place. But uh, they have pickleball here and a uh, big pool and stuff. So let's go for a walk and check out the place. The uh, laundry room right there. They even got a uh, wood shop to work in. I assume people stay here long term, but they also have these uh, casitas or little one bedroom houses. That you can buy or rent or whatever I guess. Yeah, nice looking place. Yeah, this pool area is pretty nice. It doesn't look very busy at all. Not bad, two pools. Not busy at all. We'd have to come for a swim later for sure. Oh, in the hot tub there. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Absolutely. All right. It's good enough for what I need for uh, three days of staying here. I wouldn't stay here again for months at a time or anything. I'd rather out be out boondocking and have space in between me and vehicles and not be all uh, crammed in like a parking lot more or less, like you can see here. Uh, we're actually pretty close to the, uh, what's it called, the airplane graveyard, where thousands and thousands of airplanes are kept. I think I showed you that in a previous video last year. But, uh, yeah. Nice view of the mountains behind in the van. And this is it. This is where we are for three days. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to uh, 
you know, fill all my tanks, do everything, and then uh, get up early, hit Walmart, get like a week's worth of groceries, and throw myself into BLM land in Quartzite for a week and just relax. I need a week off or a week from driving anyway. Uh, I was planning on spending a week here, but nah, can't be bothered. It's uh, it's too busy. Not my thing. So I'll move on to Quartzite. But uh, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So just north of Quartzsite is Plamosa Road BLM Camping. Just wanted to show you guys how huge this place is. Now you can camp on either side for up to 14 days. I think I drove in about 8 kilometers or 5 miles. And uh, it's just a huge place and it's, uh, you know, you can camp on your own here. No problem. <laughs> Outside, we'll go check it out. All right, all right, need it to quartzite. Look at all this space. Oh, it feels good. This is where I want to be. Some people don't like the desert, but I like it. Oh, peace and quiet. Feels so good. Chill out here. Doozer has no fears here. He loves being left alone out here. He goes and ventures on his own. But yeah, what a place. Like, <laughs> nothing around me. Lots of space. I love it.
All right, so we got Dizzer taken for his luck. And it's, uh, it's actually my four year anniversary. My uh, fifth season in winter, but today is the day that I uh, left Ontario to start my journey and I love it. I can't see myself stopping for a while yet. I still love this. I uh, can't even imagine at this point moving back into a sticks and bricks house at this point. I just get bored way too quickly. Uh, even in the couple months that I was in my uh, friend's backyard, I was just going out of my mind crazy. But, uh, oh yeah, first I should get on to uh, the gas. So I left Ontario with a full tank and then uh, I got the gas six times. So I spent, uh, including the $100 Canadian fill up I did, I spent uh, $364 US to get from uh, basically Michigan to New Mexico. So yeah, now it's going to obviously be a lot cheaper. I don't travel as much as I did. I don't do those nine hours and eight hours. I usually travel maybe two hours at the max. I think Yuma is about a two hour drive south of here. And then uh, Parker is not far at all going north. And uh, then Lake Havasu is I think about two hours north of here. No. What more could you ask for? Peace and quiet. I've been sleeping like a baby out here. It's been great with the fresh air and no noises. And you don't hear any highway noises. I'm probably about three or four washes in. So I'm probably about a, uh, maybe a kilometer from the road or so at most. But yeah, I love it. I'm going to uh, just relax for the rest of the day. Probably watch a movie tonight, have some popcorn and definitely have another good night's sleep but yeah the weather here can't beat the weather that's for sure it's perfect I got the uh, all the doors open vents open and then uh, I'll show you back here I got the back wide open with the screen down so no bugs get in but yeah it's good to air out the van and uh, 25, 26 degrees Celsius right now. Can't be beat. Time to unwrap, unwrap the e-bike and go for a ride. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm wrapping it up and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. See you next week.